Okay, we're on tour in my son's bedroom uh, to try and explain the findings of Baddeley's um, study into coding in short-term and long-term memory. Now, students tend to be happy with the procedures. They understand the four different um, groups, experimental groups, um, acoustically similar, acoustically dissimilar, semantically similar, semantically dissimilar. In a short-term memory task, the group with um, acoustically similar words did worse. And in the long-term task, the group with semantically similar words did worse. What they struggle to do is say, well, how does that support the idea that short-term memory is coded acoustically and long-term memory is coded um, semantically? So here goes, this might not work. So if it doesn't, you won't see it anyway. So there you go. So let's say um, short-term memory codes according to size. Long-term memory codes according to colour. So let's do a short-term memory task and we've got Lego bricks of different size. Now, because they're all um, different, then that's fine. It won't make mistakes. Long-term memory, though, codes according to colour. And oh dear, it's going to get confused. It's going to start to make mistakes. So making mistakes when they're all the same, similar colour, um, supports the idea that long-term memory is coded that way. Back to short-term. Remember, it codes according to size. So then, when it gets blocks that are of the same size, then it starts to make mistakes. So, the mistakes being made supports the idea that that's how it codes things. That's how it differentiates between items. Okay, so yes, Baddeley wasn't talking about Lego bricks, size and colour. Um, he was talking about um, acoustically similar words. Okay, so we're saying that short-term memory codes according to sound. And imagine that these are all um, similar sounds. It's going to make mistakes. So the mistakes supports the idea that that's how it's coded. I don't know if that will help or hinder, uh, but uh, that's the best I could come up with. Okay, hopefully that will help to get it straight in your head. Okay, so from me and Minion, bye for now.